As Christians, when we remember all that God has done for us, we can extend His love and mercy to others. On today's highlights, we'll discuss how God desires that we would respond to His blessings in our lives. Today's Keep in Mind verse reads, He hath showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. Israel's leaders had neglected their duties and led the people astray. Rather than protecting and instructing their citizens, they exploited and misled them. Micah used the image of cannibalism to describe how the leaders fed off those they were called to protect. Jerusalem's leaders were accused of increasing their power by using violence and oppression. Similarly, the prophets chose to seek after money rather than speak God's truth to the people. They prophesied according to how much money their words might bring them. Israel's leaders were not directed by God. Their actions were driven by greed and ambition. Micah's first series of judgments was followed by a hopeful look to a distant future when Israel would be restored. God would eventually redeem his exiled people once again. He would lift Israel up above all other nations. Here the Lord pleads his case. He asks the people of Judah the reason they have become so unfaithful as his covenant people. Specifically, he asks what he has done to them and how he has wearied them. Next, the Lord rehearses his blessings and how gracious he has been toward his people. He brought them out of Egypt. He redeemed them from slavery. He sent Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. They were not left without leaders, but were guided to the promised land. The Lord here shows them that even when their enemies tried to curse them, God fulfilled his promise and they were blessed instead. Judah attempts to respond to God's question with an arrogant defense of their crimes by sarcastically asking what the Lord requires. The people know that sacrifices of rams are pleasing to the Lord. Yet, they exaggerate how many sacrifices they should give to God by asking if thousands of rams will do. The Hebrews are aware that oil is used in anointing royalty and in presenting gifts to God. Yet, they are overzealous in their need to repent and ask if many rivers, not vials of oil, will suffice. Micah again uses this rhetorical line of reasoning to show how far the people are removed from God. They are not aware repentance needs to occur. Micah now offers a response to the questions of verses 6 and 7. None of what Judah has offered is what the Lord desires. God does not seek sacrifices, offerings, or rituals. The Lord wants the people to treat each other fairly and to walk according to his way. Truly, obedience is better than sacrifice. To do justly or carry out justice comes from the Hebrew word mishpat. It means judgment or a right sentence. It is the establishment of right through fair and legal procedures in accordance with the will of God. Mercy is translated from the Hebrew word kesed and is similar to the Greek word for grace. Some scholars distinguish grace as favor God bestows just because or as mercy is favor in spite of sinful behavior. God's mercy withholds the punishment despite our guilt. Here's our lesson. We live in a world where we are bombarded with advertisements daily. It has been said that the average person today sees more ads in a day than people in the 1950s saw in their lifetime. These ads have a subtle way of making us ungrateful and dissatisfied. So we crave new products and luxuries and pursue them no matter what the cost, even injustice. God wants us to be satisfied with the blessings He has given us. By remembering what God has already done for us, and who he is, we will be motivated to seek justice for others, not wealth and comfort just for ourselves. So let's make it happen. Let's think about the ways that God has blessed us. Do we sometimes forget all that he has done in our lives? In order to get out of ourselves this week and focus on God, let's create a list of things that God has done for us. And as we create this list, Let's think about one thing we can do for others who are treated unjustly. Thank you for listening and subscribing to iLights. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus.